What do you want for Christmas? Ho, 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 ho! Hose. December 2nd, that was the first, and yesterday I was depressed, but today we doing vlogmas, we doing vlogmas, we doing vlogmas, I'm at a hotel, and I'm about to take a shower, I'll get with y'all and I'm getting dressed, thanks. Okay, I'm in the shower, um, obviously I'm getting dressed, um, and I ain't got no OnlyFans, so tell because I was gonna take myself into a mental hospital yesterday. I really was. I told my mom about it, like, oh, can't do this. It's really hard right now. And my mom was like, let's just let's just get away. You know, let's let's go somewhere. Really she wanted to go to Atlanta in like two weeks, but the day she she would be able to do it falls on my little sister's birthday party. So that would work. So she was like, let's just go to a hotel, get away, get away from the house, kids out there. And I'm very grateful for that because I really would have been in a mental hospital right now. Like I would really would have been in a mental hospital right now. That seasonal depression. And then plus God is isolating me. So I'm very alone. And then plus I'm going through a breakup. So I'm even more alone. Ugh. It's not easy, y'all. It's not easy. I be wanting to give up. I be like, dang, like, I ain't got nobody for real. People say they got ring on me. The person that I thought had me left, like all these niggas do. Yeah. No, I just got to get through this season and let God work on me and let him... Do what he needs to do. Just my heart is so heavy. I wake up every day with a heavy heart. Yeah. And I, and I just want to talk about it because I feel like so many people go through seasonal depression. Like so many people go through this. And it's just like not talked about. Like even my mama be going through it, bro. Like this seasonal depression is not no joke. Every year from like September to January, I be going through it. And I don't claim that no more. Like, I really don't claim that no more. I don't claim, you know, every time around this year, it gets bad. I claim that every time around this year in Jesus' name, that I become, I don't know. I think I need to be on some medicine or something. I feel like that would help me to be on some medicine. Really hard, like. It's really hard just to get up and every day. Like I get up every day, but I do the bare minimum when I get up. I don't do what I know I'm capable of doing. Like, uh, just hold myself back and self-sabotage, self-sabotage myself so much. Cause I overthink, you know, but today I have to go to work and I got two clients and both of them are box braids. And both of them are my sisters. And they both want the same thing, so it should be pretty easy. But I'm finna um, go downstairs and ask for some toothpaste. And I'm gonna let y'all know when I'm going downstairs and on the way to my salon. I honestly think people treat you how they feel about you. And that's something that I'm slowly learning because like, I just think that because I always have the best intentions for people and that it's just trying to be a good human towards people. Some people just don't return the favor. No matter how kind you are, no matter how much you give. And that's why I'm like, God, put people in my life that's going to reciprocate the same energy that I'm giving. Like, I don't got no friends. I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know what happened. I wasn't even... I wasn't even, you know, doing things that sometimes girls do, which is just like forget about their friends during the relationship. When I was in a relationship, I definitely had friends. I definitely had people I would hang out with. I mean, he was my best friend, no doubt about it. But I still had other like 
girlfriend. So, and it's like, why they all leave the same time he leave? Like, can I get a break? Oh my gosh, can I get a break? He don't even care, bro. He be trying to convince me that he care. He don't care. Cause like, you don't care that somebody who's supposed to be your best friend is like lonely and going through depression and is sad. That's not your responsibility to take care of, but it's just like, <laughs> you wanna be selfish? If you wanna be that selfish and forget about all the times where I was, you know, taking care of you and being there for you, even though I wasn't the 100% best for myself, but then I realized, okay, I'm in a relationship with this person who, you know, depends on me in some ways. Let me get myself right. Didn't do it for that person, did it for me because I was thinking, oh no, this is a relationship that I want. Let me get myself together. I got some shit I need to work on. But niggas have to leave. Like they have to leave to work on themselves. And then they find another bitch. And then, they, and then it's just like, you leave me alone? You think that I'm that my heart's gonna grow fonder? I'm going to forget about you. You're going to try to come back in. Hey, hey, do I know you? Hmm. What did they say? Stranger, I cannot tell you how many there have been that were just like you. Yeah, to find you. Yeah, you are just like them. I meet them every day. And it's also crazy how like men forget that men try to like, they apply pressure. And it's crazy, like the only way, the only time this man ever restarted applying pressure was when he saw somebody trying to apply pressure on my social media. Boy, you don't want me. You just want to show the other boys that you can have me. So if you tell me the truth, God will show me. I don't really trust in God. I don't trust no man. I don't trust no human being right now. I'm trusting God to put me around people where I don't have to go through this. She says she gives for my mom. Living a fantasy. Okay. I'm gonna get ready to go, go in the car. I gotta put some air in my tire, unfortunately, and then I'm about to head up to the shop. But it's like, at the same time, I can't be mad at the nigga because if he say he's putting himself first and he's actually putting himself first, no tea, no shade, but even though he say he's putting himself first, I'm proud, I'm proud because, you know, I do love him, even though I'm just upset right now. And, um, you know, I trust that he wants to change, but he not doing nothing to change, y'all. If that man is not doing nothing to change, please go on to the next. Please go and find you somebody who will give you everything you deserve. Um, so I made it to the shop, as y'all can see. I just forgot to say something when I actually first got there. But um, yeah, I finished my first client's hair, my first sister's hair, and it's 4.22, they got hungry, so I'm getting them some food, and then I'ma finish my second sister's hair, but I best best believe my second sister is not getting braids as small as my first one. Like, I've already been standing since 10.30, it's four, almost 4.30, and I'ma have to stand for another three and a half hours. It's not for the week, but gotta make that money, man, money, man, 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 man.
it's six o'clock. We still in here. We still in here, y'all. We still <laughs> in here. Oh, this is Nia. This is my baby. Hi. And then this is Dawn. This is my other big baby. And we still doing Nia's hair, and my hands are cramping, and my feet hurt, and my stomach rumbling, and I got acid reflux. Oh. <laughs> Okay, you don't want to get famous? Oh, really? I don't want to get too famous. I don't want to get too famous either. I don't know, but not famous. Yeah. Not like celebrity. Yeah, I don't want to be a celebrity. Like, I could be like a social media influencer for sure. Because that's like your own. Like, you're your own boss. Like, you're just posting videos and making money off of that. Like, I'm doing vlogmas right now. Oh, uh, that was not the next album. I love Loose Change, though. His, his voice is so beautiful. Adam. I mean, um, I knew that was him. Yeah, his it sounded like it. his voice. Nothing's ever promised to my Yeah, Jesus. Jesus walks. Jesus walks with me, with me, with me. Like me. You should play Ultra Light Beam. <laughs> I'm on the album right now. I know. Father, stretch my hand. Oh my gosh, can you not turn your things off? You trying to listen to the to listen to the tunes. But I literally have two braids um, left. You can tell them to come when I'm completely done braiding her hair. Okay. Sometimes I go slower, sometimes I go faster. Like That's why I started at the front of y'all heads because the most of my energy is gonna be when I first start, so. It's 8.52 and I'm just now getting back to the hotel. Oh my gosh, such a long day. Thank you God for today. I didn't really spend that much time with God today, which is unfortunate, but do because I'm trying to change my life. I'm trying to healthily enter a new season. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna roll up. Maybe hit it a couple times and go upstairs because my mom got me some food. And then I'm gonna hit y'all when I'm up there. Like I literally just did their hair. And because you know, if you do box braids, you do not want to be on your phone like the whole time because you just want to get that shit over with and i did that here and i got both of it over with so i'm very grateful but yeah i'm finna roll up i don't got nothing to talk about because i'm tired but mm. good morning it's the next day because yesterday i was literally at the shop all day i left the hotel my mom my mommy went to go to the gym i'm about to get dressed go downstairs give me some breakfast and then i think i'm gonna go to the gym too or maybe not we'll see uh, am i the only one that severely dislikes elevator like i just it doesn't seem right it doesn't seem okay it doesn't seem natural i'm scared i'm even closer to it blood of jesus blood of jesus blood of jesus blood of jesus Oh my gosh. I really do not like elevators. Oh my god, oh my god. What if somebody's in there? I'm not filmed for somebody to be in there. Looks like I got bit by, by a vampire. Jesus, cover this elevator in the blood, please. Cover in the blood and the life protect me. Oh my gosh. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. I literally know what to do, what to happen if, God forbid, an elevator falls. It's not gonna fall. But I know what to do if it does fall, but it's not gonna fall. Because it's covered in the blood, it's covered! It's covered! It's 
covered in the blood. This whole hotel is. I'm gonna use some olive oil, I'll start anointing everything. Oh, blood of Jesus. All right, I'm gonna get this fit off and come back. I got the food. They gave me a little fruit cup and like this cute little sandwich. And over there, I don't know if y'all can see. I got a little fruit cup with yogurt. I just been wanting yogurt this whole time, so I'm gonna eat. I'm happy. I don't got nothing to say because I'm gonna eat. I'm watching Family Matters. I'm so content. I'm really glad my mom did this. I'm really content. This is how every morning should be. I need to pray. I prayed over my food, but I haven't like really prayed. So I think I'm about to like. That was weird. I think I'm about to pray, like real pray before I finish my food, so. Y'all can't watch. Hi guys, we're at church now. I'm not gonna vlog much in here because this is me and God's time, but I'm at church and I'm waiting for the service to start. I haven't been vlogging, um, left the hotel. Yeah. Hey, so church is up and I just had to do something really hard but I think it would have been harder in the long run for myself if I didn't do it. So I did what had to be done. And yeah, but I'm just sitting at the park now contemplating life. I think I'm gonna edit and I think I'm gonna make like a Vlogmas um, intro or something like that. Cause I, I wanted a new intro anyway, so. We gonna do that and see what's up and see what what to do and everything. I'm just gonna get some business done on my phone since I'm sitting on it anyway. So 